This is question 17 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we're asked to write 6.4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number. So this format is what we call standard form. So what we've been asked to do is to write this as an ordinary number. Now the way that I like to do this is to write out my number first, so 6.4. Now I am, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this decimal point over by the number by the power of 10. So the, we've got times 10 to the power of 4 here, so I'm going to move this over once, twice, three times, four times. So what that means is that I then get my answer here is going to be 6, 4, and then I'm going to put zeros in each of the blank spaces, 0, 0, 0. So my answer to, is 6.4 times 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number is 64,000. Okay, now write 0 0.0039 in standard form. Now the way that I'm going to do this is I immediately go to the first number that is not a 0. So the first number is not a 0, is a 3. I'm then going to place my decimal point after that 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count back. I'm going to count back. Um, I'm going to count back from the decimal point after the three, back to where my decimal point is in the question. So how far has it come over? It's come over one, two, three places. So it's going to be 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative. 3. It's a negative 3 because uh, we're moving backwards. So instead of moving forwards like we were here, we we're moving four places forward. Here the decimal point is moving one, two, three places backwards. So I write down negative 3. Now, the last one. This here, some people may be thinking, well, it already is in standard form, but that's not quite right. The reason that it's not in standard form is because the number at the beginning is not a number between 1 and 10. It has to be a number between 1 and 10. So what I find it's helpful to do is to first of all write out this number as we would do usually. So 0.25 and I'm moving this over seven places and I'm moving seven place I'm moving the decimal places seven places forward. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So what I would have is the number 2 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So I've got the number 2.5 million. Now, all I'm going to then do is do exactly what I did before when we were writing this out in standard form. My decimal point is going to go here, and I'm moving it once, twice, three, four, five, six places. So I'm going to have 2.5. 2.5 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2.5 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay then guys, if you got that those questions incorrect, um, pause the video now, attempt these questions that are on your screen and then press play to see the solutions. So we've got 3.2 times 10 to the power of minus 3. We're being asked to write this as an ordinary number. So same as before, I'm going to write out 3.2 and then here is negative 3 so I'm moving the decimal point 3 places backwards. 1, 2, 3 places backwards. So my decimal point is now going to go there. So it's going to be 0 and I've got my decimal point, I'm just going to put zeros in the gaps, 0, 0, and then at the end I've got the 3, 2. Next one, write in standard form, 8,650,000. So I go to the first number that's not a 0, and I put a decimal point after that point. So I've got 8, then I've got my decimal point, 6, 5, and then it's going to be times 10, to the power of what? Let's have a little look. So we've got my decimal point's going to be there, 
you need to move it one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 8.65 times 10 to the power of 6. Last one, write in standard form, 11.3 times 10 cubed. Now remember that 11.3, this is not in standard form because this number at the front has to be a number between 1 and 10. So let's write this out um, as we would do usually here and then rewrite it in standard form. So we've got 11.3, I'm moving it over once, twice, three times. So I'd have the number 1, 1, 3, put zeros in there, 0 and a 0. So I've got the number 113,000, uh, sorry, 11,300. So now let's put this in standard form. So I go to the first number that's not a 0 and put my decimal point there. So it's going to be 1.13 times 10. And then how far am I moving it? I'm moving it 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So it's 1.13 times 10 to the power of 4.